Alan, Mary, Roger, Joyce, Reg, Leslie, Bill, Julie are all here to play Larry Grayson's Generation Game. Shut that door and enjoy the Generation Game. What's in store? The best of relations is our aim. Larry Grayson is here to play so. Shut that door. Thank you very much. Thank you very much and welcome to the show. It's nice to be back again. And uh, after the show last week, we would like to thank all the people who uh, were on holiday in Scarborough and all the people that lived there for the wonderful time they gave us. I had a wonderful time myself. It was, it was lovely being by the sea, you know, with the donkeys and the, the water chute and, and everything. But of course, for Isla, it was special because Isla was with a candy floss and a toffee apples. <laughs> and a crisps and a rock. She's still eating rock, the last time I saw her about 10 minutes ago. She's my best girl, I'd like you to meet her. Isla Sinclair. Remember the rock we gave to I know. the contestants exactly. in the Generation Game? It's got our pictures on, look. We That's have right. Our, yeah. And I know something you don't know. You do? I do. What's that? It's got the Generation Game right down the middle of the rock. Isn't that good? No, no, really? It's just got right down the middle of the rock, ah, see? Well, you know, a, a long time ago, I went to Brighton, and uh, I bought a stick of rock there, and I couldn't understand it, because one end of the rock, it said Brighton, and the other end, it said Ho. <laughs> <laughs> well Very confusing, I think. But uh, without more ado, we, we'd like you to meet our first contestants who are here to play the Generation Game. Our first contestants come from Lancashire, mother and son, Mary and Alan Bromley. <laughs> Hello, love, how are you? Oh, how nice you look. Are you nervous? Very. Are you? Well, don't be. No, we're all friends at home. <laughs> no, we're all... Um, <laughs> it's all lovely. Now, this, you are um, Mary, uh, Mary and Alan Bromley from Bolton. Yes. Uh, no, a actually, it says, it, it, Mary, it's... Uh, you pronounce it Mary. Mary. Is that right? That's correct. Uh, because I, and it says here that uh, when, uh, when you were born, your mother thought you were a boy. Yes. And she was going to call you Harry. Yes. Well, how did that come about? Well, she... Harry. <laughs> she, she what? She didn't see me for three days. She oh, she did well. Yes. And they told her she got a son, so she christened me Harry. Uh, Harry, I and see. And then they found out I was married. Uh, you were married? Because, see, when I was born, they called me Larry. <laughs> when my mother found out about me and she called me Larry, but of course that's another story. And uh, it says that you once heard Bill Maynard on television telling people to smile at a stranger and make the world happier. Yes. So while window dressing the next day you gave a young man passing by a big smile and he walked straight into a police box and broke his nose. <laughs> and from then on they called him Chester Morris. <laughs> Right, right, your hands are cold. Warm heart. Yeah, all right. Yeah. She's a lovely lady. Now, you're, a, you're Roger, you're... Uh... Alan. Oh, Alan. Oh, uh, fancy. And... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> now, you, you're from Bolton as well. Bolton. Huh? Bolton. 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 Is that right? <laughs> no, I, oh, I see. That's what the, uh, the, the people in Bolton... If, you, if you're posh, you say Bolton. Oh, I see. And if, if you come from where I live, it's Bolton. Oh. <laughs> it's like Scunthorpe. They don't say Scunthorpe, they say Scunup. Something like that. So they do. Did, did you know that? No. Well, they do. <laughs> you see, you learn on this show as well as, you know, having a good time. Now, Alan, it says here that um, you're a fireman. Mm. We had a fireman on the show in the last series called Simon the Fireman. He was from Nottingham. He's a nice boy. And um, <laughs> it said, because for your addiction to work, you're known as Mad Al. Is that right? Is that what the lads call you? Mad yeah. Al? 
They call me Mad Lau. <laughs> <laughs> It said, you're never happier than you're never happier than when you're doing something. Mm. You're not alone. <laughs> uh, it said, you think that taking your wife out too often spoils her. Uh. Do you really? Uh. Is she in the audience? Uh. My heart goes out to you. <laughs> Is it when you did some carpet fitting, you took her along to pick up the bits? Yeah. Did you? She must love you terribly. Well, it was a day out. It was a day out. Where did you go to then? At the house. To where? The house where we do it, Joe. Oh, was it your house? No. The to house, the, the house where we're doing the carpet, I took her out because she mourned I never took her out. She's <laughs> <laughs> a lovely boy. <laughs> Which I'm going to meet her after. She's out. Yeah. Good. Well, it's nice meeting you. She's working out. as a commissioner. Well, Is she, you got to work in as well. <laughs> I believe him. <laughs> it's nice meeting you both. Go and sit over there, both of you, and I'll be with you in a little while. Over you go. Right. <laughs> and now I can meet our next contestants to play the Generation Game. Our next couple come from Cornwall, mother and son, Joyce and Roger Green. <laughs> How are you, Joyce? All right. Fine, thank you. Good. It's nice to have you with us. All the way from Cornwall, indeed. So there you go, Joyce and Roger from Trevisco, Cornwall. Trevisco. Trevisco. Oh, That's I see. Right. And it said here, Joyce, you're Cornish born and bred. I love Cornish bread. <laughs> and it said, your main, your main preoccupation is raising money for charity. Is that right? It said, one of your activities in raising money is to act as a bingo caller. That's it. Do you really? Do you, do you call the bingo? I really call bingo numbers. Yeah, t look, t tell me, Joyce, do you, sh do you say like things like, what is it, uh, uh, legs 11 and uh, uh, number four, shut that door? No. <laughs> oh, I see. I see. And it said here then that when you first started your bingo sessions, you got very muddled and once handed a prize of some shampoo and hair oil to a man with a bald head. <laughs> did you really? I did. Oh, I say. <laughs> All right, you were, was he embarrassed? No more than I was. <laughs> <laughs> it's good you didn't hand him some nappies and some, uh, what's name, <laughs> dusting powder. You'd be more embarrassed. <laughs> now then, how are you? All right, thanks. How are you? I'm, I'm fine. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Roger. Very nice, yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're very close. <laughs> <laughs> you both are. <laughs> I feel hemmed in. <laughs> Now, you are 21, Roger. The key of the door. Key of the door! That's bingo. And, uh, <laughs> they do, they say that, you know, <laughs> key of the door. No, 21, they do, don't they? Back to you. <laughs> don't stare. It said, uh, <laughs> you, are, you are studying at Palgate College, Warrington. Yeah, that's right. You're a great sports enthusiast, playing best basketball, football and snooker. And you've even, play, you've even played with snooker professional Dennis Taylor. Yeah, that's correct. Because I like a ball game myself. <laughs> <laughs> I do. <Yeah>. Netball. <laughs> uh, <it's a> net. <laughs> Why do we get such common audiences in here? <laughs> it said here, you and a friend went to a car park late at night to find your respective cars where you were the only two that were left. Yeah. Nevertheless, you still succeed in reversing into each other. <laughs> Why don't they bring the trams back? <laughs> anyway, there you are, and it's nice meeting you both. And uh, Isla, could you tell us about our first game, please? Remember when Larry and I were in Scarborough? Well, we had a good idea, and we had great fun buying all our saucy postcards for all our friends. And the idea was that we could have our own five saucy personalities and put them into salty, saucy seaside scenes. And what we want you to do is to identify all the personalities. Over to you, Larry. OK. So could we have postcard number one? Postcard number two.
postcard number three. Postcard number four. Postcard number four. Number one. Joyce and Roger of Bill Maynard. Bill Maynard. We we have Alfred Marx. And of course it is. Let's have a look now. It is Alfred Marx. Lovely to see it. It's Alfred said he didn't recognise himself. Lovely to see you, Alfred. Great. Thank Ladies and gentlemen, Alfred Mark. Thank you very much. And I'll grab you for number two. Barbara Windsor. <laughs> well, we've got here, we've got, for number two, we've got, we've got Spanish holidays. Was she in that? About Spanish holidays? I don't know, but it, it is. Our lovely Pat Coons. That's lovely, Pat. How are you? I'm all right. I've got that off. What's my hair? I know. I, 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 said you, I, should, I should wear this all the time if it was me. Good, it? Yes, lovely, yes, lovely to see Pat Coombs, ladies and gentlemen. Pat Coombs, lovely. <laughs> and for number three, we've got. Well, actually, Larry, we have. In fact, Joyce started to write. She started to like Larry Grayson, and she says, "Oh no, it can't be. He's there." <laughs> Joyce, what are you thinking about? <laughs> and then she wrote Bill Sykes. She wrote Bill Sykes. Well, we've got boxer Henry, and of course it is Henry Cooper. <laughs> Henry. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right, Isla, who have you got for, uh, for number four? Lulu? You've got Lulu. Well, you never believe this. We've got here, we've got Luton Airport. <laughs> <laughs> and, that's, and that's what about, because it's as near, it's one mark for you, because it, 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 she's not Luton Airport, but she's, of course, Lorraine Chase. <laughs> Lorraine. <laughs> No, we never recognise you with that laptop, but it's very nice to see you here. Oh, lovely. Look, now, L Lorraine Chase, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. <laughs> and who have you got, Isla, for uh, number five? David Attenborough. <laughs> <laughs> David Attenborough, indeed. Well, we've got two marks here because they put Arthur Askey, and of course it is Dear Arthur Askey. <laughs> Love to see you. Love to see you looking you so well. You're not going to do ten minutes. No, not now. Funny thing happened. Ladies and gentlemen, dear lovely Arthur Askin, thank you very much. I would like to say, I would like to thank all my dear friends for coming along to be with us tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, all my dear friends, Arthur, Lorraine, Henry. And it's very difficult when you're up here, you know, when you're near to them. I mean, when you're away there, you're relaxing, you know, you, you know the names. But when you're up here, you've got to write it down. It's very, very difficult. So, Isla, could you now tell us the scores on the doors? The names in the frame say Mary and Alan with eight points. Joyce and Roger have no points. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh dear, Joyce and Roger. Now we must pull up on the next game, mustn't we? So, Isla, tell us all about the next game, please. This is a game you'll never forget, because of course it's all about elephants, and they're actually my favourite animals, and this is my favourite pottery elephant. He's a bit like Dumbo, isn't he? Let's meet the lady who makes these beautiful pottery elephants, Brigitte Appleby. Hello, Brigitte. How are you? I'm, uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing you doing this. So, away you go. And make us an elephant. I've been doing this for very long, Brigitte. Yes, I've been doing it. A long time? Yes. I make lots of animals. Do you? Oh, you make lots of animals? Yes. Like lions and tigers? <laughs> Do you have a lot of trouble with the giraffe, with the neck? Yeah, it's very difficult to get a neck hollow. Oh, because what, what you do, you do this, Brigitte, and then it's put into um, an oven and glazed. That's right. Yeah. Are you watching, Joyce? Yes. Get that for the eyes, you see. Mary. So, you, you see, the quicker you do it, uh, Alan, the, the better. So it says in the book. I saw Elephant Boy three times. I knew Sabu well. <laughs> That's right. See, see how quickly she does it? Quite fascinating, aren't they, really, don't you think? You could, say, you could do these and sell them in your village, Joyce. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah. That's it. That's fine. Brigitte, thank you very much indeed. That's lovely. Now, will you, um, <laughs> will you come back and uh, do some marking for us? OK, off you go, Brigitte. Where you go. And will you put your aprons on? Or put your aprons on. That's right. Over there. Are you all ready? And do it as quickly as you can. You have one minute, 15 seconds, starting now, to make an elephant. And away you go. <laughs> Let's whack the ears on. Oh, that's, that's good. That's good, Mary. It has it whack it whack as quick as you can. I think you're going to have trouble with the trunks. <laughs> Are you all right, love? Right, Mary? <laughs> just the eyes, not the mouth. Just the eyes. <laughs> no, no, yeah, that's it. Don't get the eyes. You have 15 seconds. 15 seconds. 15 seconds, though, that's it. Right? OK. That's it, you're doing splendid. <laughs> OK, fine, fine. Bring it up. Come along, sweetheart. There we are. Now then, let's have a look at it. Get over there, Alan. <clears throat> now, what about, um, what about this one? <laughs> it looks like a Buddha. <laughs> Well, I mean, the, the trunk seems to have gone awry. <laughs> but I suppose you know what you're doing. How many, how many marks, Brigitte? Three. Three? Three. All right, Alan. Three marks to you. Now, what about... Oh, dear. Oh, 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 now, look. <laughs> <laughs> What's that at the back of the head? <laughs> what have gone there? It's more like a penguin, that one. Well, it, it, it's more... Come over here, sweetheart. It's more like a penguin. Now, how many, how many marks to that, Brigitte? One. One. Oh, very good to you, one. OK, let's have a look over here at, uh, at Joyce. Oh, that's very good. Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, the, the tail seems to be going somewhere. <laughs> but it's the... It's... Well, I don't know. Uh, it's like a double-handed teapot, don't you think? Well, uh, what do you think? That's very good. <laughs> Two. Two. Two, well, that's all right, OK. Now, now, what about... Oh, dear. <laughs> well, it, well it, it's, um... You see, when you... Oh, oh! <laughs> oh, dear. I, I'm sorry about that. It's, um... Well, well, I don't know what to say. <laughs> How many? Well, I think you've spoiled him. He was good. Three. Three? Oh, very <laughs> good. Very good indeed. 
Brigitte, thank you so much. And I would like to say, ladies and gentlemen, that Brigitte's mother's in the audience tonight, and her mother is 83 today, so that we're very thrilled about that. <laughs> thank you very much. And, um, thank you very much. Thank you very much. OK, we can come down here. We can come in. So all your hickory falls off. And when you say, oh, my goodness, what we got here? Oh, how lovely. Tell me, uh, we'll say that. Uh, uh, Johnny, what a delightful elephant. How old is, is it? It's, she a, or a he? it's the smallest elephant I've seen out of the wild, Larry, and it's a she, and she's called um, Esther. She's called Esther, is yeah. she? Yeah. Uh, and she's from Dudley Zoo, I believe. She is, and she's just 11 months old. Is she really? Yeah. Well, she's absolutely, it's absolutely solid. She, and she's very, very docile, and a beautiful little girl. She's beautiful. Isn't she? Thank you Look very, at that. Thank, uh, Tim, thank you very much for coming up from Dudley Zoo. Super Johnny cheap. Morris, delighted to meet you. It's the very thank first time we've met, and it's lovely to meet you. Ladies and gentlemen, Johnny Morris. <laughs> nice to see you, And um, Isla, could you, uh, could you tell us the scores on the doors? Mary and Alan have 12 points. Joyce and Roger have 5 points. Ah. <laughs> so, we have to say uh, farewell yes. to you. We're saying bye to Joyce and Roger. Oh, are we? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Larry. Oh, I, don't, don't, I mean, it's really personal, uh, Alan. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you understand anyway, that. you know that the whole... Of, of Trivisco, isn't it? Trivisco. Trivisco. I'll, I'm going down to Cornwall soon, so I shall learn properly. They're all be looking in, so you yeah. know you'll be taking one of these yeah. back each. And also Take thank back. the choir for sending me that a lovely record. Yeah. Yeah. It's been lovely meeting you, George. You're a lovely woman. Yeah. Bless you. Smashing. Bye bye. There you are, George. Right. Bye. Yes. Thank you very much. Good night. <laughs> And now, Ayla, could we meet our next contestants who are going to play the Generation Game? From Devon, father-in-law and daughter-in-law, Reg and Leslie Kerrison. <laughs> there you are. Hello, Reg. Hello, Larry. And how are you? Are you all right? Fine, thank you. Enjoying yourself? Oh, very much so. Good. Now, you are Reg Kerrison. Is that Kerrison? Oh, I, thought, I, was, I was just going to say you are a gas. Uh, that's a, <laughs> uh, Reg Kerrison, and uh, you're from Plymouth. Exactly. Right? Yes. From Plymouth. <laughs> and it said uh, during the war you got yourself the nickname of Killer Kerrison when you and a boxer used to spar with one another. That, well, not quite right. He well, used to do a bit of sparring like that, and he used to, come on, come on, come on, they don't call me Killer for nothing. And several of us used to imitate him. <laughs> I see. Because, you see, I used to... Um, I was a master of the fisticuffs years was ago. Was you, indeed? Yeah, it's true. I would never have believed no, it. Well, no, not many would. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> actually, I, uh, I saw Gentleman Jim with Errol Flynn twice. And I also... They arranged with me years ago to, have a, uh, to, to box Jean Tunney. Oh, yes. But it turned out to be Jean Tyranny. <laughs> <laughs> she won. But anyway, <laughs> nice to see you, Reg. Thank you and, very and, much. And, uh, and, you're, and you're Leslie, aren't you? Yes. And you're from Plymouth. Too. That's right, yes. It's a lovely part of beautiful the country, Plymouth. That ho is so beautiful. And uh, you believe that you're a descendant of George the Force. You found this in an old book belonging to your aunts. Mm -hmm. Well, that's very strange, you know, because they say I'm a descendant from King Arthur. <laughs> no, honestly, it's true. Uh, uh, my auntie told me you was a round table in Redditch. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> it's the truth. And uh, a travel agent once told you, you that you work for gave you a free holiday. The catch being that you had to go that very day. Yes, that afternoon. <laughs> they're, they're, they're like that. Yes. And when Alan came round that evening to pick you up, your father told him you that you just popped out for a minute. Just popped out, yeah. To Mallorca. To Mallorca. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was a bit of shock for him. Uh, well, it's nice to meet you, Leslie and Reg. Will you go sit over there? I'll be with you in a little while. Over you go. <laughs> and. Uh, to we meet our last contestants, we're going to play the Generation Game. Our last contestants come from Nottinghamshire. They are father and daughter Bill Armstrong and Julie Banting. Oh dear, oh my goodness me. I, I, 
I, oh, I see. Give me the thing. Oh. <laughs> I saw Treasure Island three times. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, indeed. Is he all right? Good. Yes. Right. Yes, some have cats. <laughs> um, <laughs> it says, uh, you're Bill Armstrong, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, and uh, you're from Ruddington in Notting Nottinghamshire. Oh, God, this is Fred. This is Fred. And I, I believe you were... And now, Fred, if I remember rightly, I read about him in a paper some time, it was, it was some years ago. Something... What happened to Larry, him? Larry, he got laryngitis. I see. And he lost his voice. And he got get well cards from all over the world. And it says here that um, he spends many hours in the bar listening to the jukebox. He loves the jukebox. He does. He, what he used it? to sing to Don't Cry For Me, Argentina, when Julie Covington made it's, it a hit. Yeah. And, of course, he's more onto Cliff Richard now. Is his he? latest hit. Yeah. Oh, I see. <laughs> you see, my favourite song used to be The Bores Have Got My Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... <laughs> I do have a friend, Bill, that's, uh, that can talk to parrots. Uh, I, I mean, he's talked Excuse to... me! <laughs> now, what about this parrot? Yes, Fred? Uh, what's his name? Fred? Fred. <laughs> Fred. <laughs> what's he calling him Fred? <laughs> it is Fred, you duff butt. <laughs> well, what's he got to... Well, well I've got a poet here. <laughs> well, listen, listen, let, let, let Fred see the parrot. No, don't cry. <laughs> Hello, Fred. Hello, Fred. Who's Who's the pretty boy? He's mesmerised. <laughs> no, Fred. No, 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 I think he's seen quite enough of you. Ladies and gentlemen, Freddy, Freddy Parrot, Mr <laughs> David. <laughs> Uh, they do live to be a great age, though, don't they, Bill? Oh, yes, yeah, he'll outlive me, I expect. You are? <laughs> I said, Fred, you live to be a great age. Fred, would you like a record? Don't cry for me, Argentina. <laughs> La da da da. No? Well. <laughs> Gone into retreat. Well, he just said hello. I just said, say, hello. Hello, Fred. Hello. Hello, Fred. Seems like a nice. Hello. Seems like a nice boy. <laughs> What's he whispering to you? Who's him over there? <laughs> I, all he's, he's just said to him, who's him over there? <laughs> he just said to him, really? He said it. He said it there. He did. <laughs> what? Honestly, I can't, I can't believe it. You don't think he's drunk, do you? <laughs> no, I think he's all right. All right, then. Now, Julie Banting. That's your daughter. This is your daughter. <laughs> no, that's my daughter, Larry. Good, yeah. Your husband is such a football fanatic that your honeymoon... Nottingham Forest. Nottingham Forest, is it? Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. Well, anyway, it says there that on your honeymoon night, he sat up to watch Brian Clough on the television. Fan fancy watching football on your honeymoon. I was trying to be all seductive, and he said, could you just wait a minute, please? I just want to watch Brian Clough. <laughs> <laughs> back because he missed the first home match of the season last night to come to bring me here yeah. tonight you didn't have a brass band playing at half time did you <laughs> <laughs> it, it's nice uh, to meet you leslie and it's n delightful to meet you bill and and fred well, anyway isla could you tell us about our next game some of you might have been to Spain for your summer holidays. It's true you might have to go that far to see some sunshine, but you certainly don't have to go that far to see a Paso Doble, because we found right here in the very heart of England, ladies and gentlemen, the Derby Serenaders! <laughs>
You're Sue Simpson, That's right. uh, the Derby Serenaders. Yes. Uh, Sue, do you, you train the girls? I do, do yes. And do you do charity shows and go all over? Yes, doing these shows? Right. Yeah, it's yeah. very, very colourful. So you go over there, come back okay. in a minute, Sue. Okay. All right, who's first? You two first. Okay, Julie. You come over here, you come over here, Bill. And so now we'll have the Derby Serenaders with two of our own. Okay, remember. The, the, the Derby Serenaders and uh, our other two. Okay, Bert. Sue. Here we go. Now then, Sue, what about that? Oh, that was smashing. Well, I Enjoy. thought they were very good for the first they time. Were, they right. were really now. What about, our, what about Bill Air and Julie? Well, they tried, tried very hard. I thought they were very good. Yeah? And I'd give those eight. You give them eight? Yes. Good for you, good. Bill and Julie. Now, what about uh, Reg and Leslie? Yes. Well, they tried hard also, but there were parts where they were completely lost. So <laughs> I gave those six. You give them six. I did. Well, okay. Sue... Uh, thank you so much, Sue, for coming along. It's, it's been, been charming. Good. So thank you, Sue, and the Derby Serenaders. Thank you for thank being here. Ladies and gentlemen, Sue, for the Derby Serenaders. <laughs> Could you tell us the scores on the doors? The names on the frames are Reg and Leslie with six points, and Bill and Julie have eight points. And Isla, could you tell us about our next game, please? When I was on my holidays this year, I saw a lot of statues, and I had this idea, you see, about how funny the Duke of Wellington would look if you took away his horse and left him sitting there in midair. And that's exactly what we've done with six famous statues here on the boards. The game is What's Missing? So we want you to draw in what do you think is missing from each statue? And you've got 30 seconds to do them, starting from now. Okay, off you go.
come, come here. That's fine now. That's fine. Now, I, uh, what have you for number one? I think we are pretty near it, actually. You do? She's written scales below, but the sword is there. Yeah. I think those are the scales. I think we're all well, right. We've got the sword and we've got the waist scales. Of course, it is the Statue of Justice, which is outside the Old Bailey, and, uh, and it is. So that's right for, for you. <laughs> uh, for number two, Isla, you have... We've got a discus. And we, too, have a, a, a discus. <laughs> 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 Looks a bit like Everard, but never mind. Seems <laughs> like a nice boy. And for number three... Yes, it's a trident. Well, what, what, is, what is this, Bill? Can you just come up here a bit. Yeah, no, 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 it's all right, there's something back there. Now, what, what is it? What... We didn't know what it was called, and I think we've put it the wrong way up. Yeah, no, but, you know, <laughs> it, 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 it is a trident, really, isn't it? It's prongs. Well, of course, it, cause he, you see, but what's he doing here? Yeah. But anyway, uh, it is... <laughs> <laughs> If they only knew. <laughs> anyway, you're as near as the. Of course, it is a trident, you see. But I mean, you're as near. You're near to it, Bill. And this. What have you got for number four, Isla? Mm, uh, we've got. Oh, we've got a bone arrow. Well, of course, it's eros, and right. the bow is missing. But you, of course, you you put the bow on, so you, you you're fine there. You what see. A bow. We've got an arrow as well. And uh, this is Peter Pan. Yes. We, and uh, we have his pipes. Yes, well, I think we've got his trombone, haven't we? <laughs> <laughs> is, is that it? It is. It, is it? Well, what is it then? Like a musical instrument. A musical. Well, how do we do about that? Because it is. A, it's a pipe, isn't it? So we're okay. We're all right on that, Bill. Okay, look. Yes. Yes, he never seems to get any older, does he? Now what? Now here. What have you got for number six? We've got a crown. Ah, uh, yes. Well, you've got a crown, but we haven't. Uh, you forgot the crown. No, you didn't. You got some fire. It's the, it's the statue of Lisa, I'm afraid you get no marks to that. So there we are. And uh, so if you just come down here and Isla, could you. Uh... <laughs> and now could you tell us the scores on the doors? Reg and Leslie have 18 points, Bill and Julie 18 points. A tiebreaker. Oh, a tiebreaker. Well, okay. <laughs> It's the first to answer, right? How many te tentacles does an octopus have? You got it, eight. That's it. Well, so therefore... So nice to have met you, and Fred the Parrot. It's been really, I do hope you've enjoyed being with us, and thank you too. But of course, you will take along. away the Generation Game trophies. Oh, thank yeah. you. One each to take back with you. Okay. Right. Okay. And now, Isla, could you tell us about our end game? Our final game tonight has had everyone here in hysterics all day. Now, I'm not going to give you any clues, except to say that it's uh, head and shoulders above the rest. You'll see when you meet the delightful Mr. Bert Bowden. A song of love is a sad song. Hi, lady, hi, lady, hi, Lord. A song of love is a song of woe. Don't ask me how I know. A song of love is a sad song I have loved in its soul I stand at my window and watch the rain Hi, Lily, hi, Lily, hi, low Tomorrow I'll probably love again Hi, Lily, hi, Lily, hi, low
Ver Verdon, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, Ver. <laughs> nice to see you. Yeah. I like the noise. <laughs> you like this? Ver, it's been uh, many, many years since I saw anything like that. When I, back when I was so big. So yeah. Nobody seems to do this sort of thing anymore. How long have you been doing this uh, thing, Ver? Well, I've been doing it since I was 15 years of age, and I'm now 69. You are? And you enjoy doing that, don't you, Bert? Oh, yes, yeah. really. But since retiring, I've had more time and I've been getting to perfect it. Yeah, well, you do very well indeed. I you really do. Now, we're going to get our contestants to do this, so will you come back and do some marking for us? Yes. You will? Thank well, you go over there then, Bert. There's your Bert Bowden. <laughs> over you go. Instead of the straws that we usually have, what we've got here are two generation game doors. One is shorter, one's longer. Now, whoever picks the longer door has, of course, the choice of going first or second. So, choose a door. Ah. There you are. There that's you are, the longest, That's yeah. it, Marie. What would you like to do, first or first second? First or second. You're going to go first. Go first. Okay. Well, uh, as everyone knows by now that I always have someone in my room here where the other two go to have a little rest. And I never know who's behind this door, so it's always very exciting for me. So uh, we'll just have a look. OK? <laughs> May I call you Mrs. Thatcher? Oh, please do, Mr. <laughs> oh, I, I'm, I'm thrilled. I'm so delighted to meet you, you know. Are you really? Yes, I am, because uh, someone called Slack Alice suggested that. <laughs> oh, she will? Yes, yes. Oh, I've been wanting to meet you for such a long Have time. Have you really? Yeah, honestly, yes. How charming. Have you brought Everard? Is he here? No, 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 he's staying at home. He's, oh. his, his ankle is swollen rather badly. Oh, I do sympathise. Yeah, but when he knows that you've been here, he'll be cock a hoo. Oh, <laughs> but I'm delighted to be here, and I think it's a jolly nice show. Well, Don't you? It's nice. Yes, <laughs> thank you very much. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, Mrs. Thatcher's our own lovely Janet Brown. Oh. <laughs> 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 Janet Brown, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> okay. And now, so here we go. Mary and Alan. Here we go. There you go. And now get into the uh, the thing. And now we're uh, we're going to have Alan and Mary as Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers putting on the Ritz. Here we go. <laughs> To go to, why don't you go where fashion sits? Put on the Ritz. Fed <laughs> Ginger were never like this. Reg and Leslie as Fred and Ginger putting on the Ritz. If you're blue and you don't know where to go to, why don't you go where fashion sits? Putting on the Ritz.
Okay, Bert. Okay, Bert. Now then, what did you think about all that? Well, I think they're, I think they're all wonderful. It's very difficult to judge. It's very difficult to judge. Except for the second couple. But Miss Markham while first. While the lady Bert. was brilliant, the man unfortunately left the stage. Yes. I make the first couple seventeen. The Th second couple sixteen. I see. The first and second. I see. Well, Bert. Very nice to see you, and may you go on entertaining with your puppet for a very long time to come. Bye-bye. Bert Bowden, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and, uh, well, of course, I'm not going to miss this, so could you just go and uh, sit over there, the four of you? Just go and make yourself comfortable. Isla, okay. we're going to do this if it kills us. <laughs> OK. okay. Fresh our memories and tell us the scores on the doors. The names in the frames are Mary and Alan with 17 points. Uh, Reg and Leslie have 16 points. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> Reg and Leslie, uh, I'm afraid we have to say farewell to you both, but we do hope you've enjoyed being with us. And uh, Isla, what have we for Reg and Leslie to take back with them? A handsome carriage clock, a cassette radio, and, of course, the Generation Game trophies, which they'll both have to take home with them. That's fine. Bye, Leslie. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Bye-bye. 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 All right, Alan. All right, Mary. Now, this is the, the best of three. The first question. Which is the largest ocean in the world? Pacific. Right. Second, who created Noddy? Um, Ken Dodd. <laughs> well, he need blight, but we'll go on to the next one. OK. <laughs> Ken will be pleased. OK, ready? How many shillings were there in a crown? Two and a half. Five. Right, five. OK. Well, there you are. <laughs> well, now, what have we got to marry to take back with her? A very flashy Instamatic camera and a Generation Game door. Congratulations. Okay. That's great. <laughs> bye-bye, Mary. Bye. Bye. And Alan, you're the lucky boy who's going to my room to see the loot, and here we go. Right? <laughs> Alan, now all the uh, things are going by on the conveyor belt and all you can 
remember, when you get back to that chair, are yours to take home with you. And the time starts now. And on Larry's conveyor belt tonight. A barbecue grill. A tea and coffee maker. A wine decanter and glasses. An electric fondue set. Cuddly panda. Travelling bag. An infratonic lamp. Two pump-action vacuum flasks. A box of chocolates. A canteen of cutlery. Six half bottles of liqueur, a candelabra, a facial sauna, a pressure cooker with built-in timer, electric drill and bits, two casserole pots, three pottery elephants, a car vacuum cleaner, gardening equipment. Stuff up there. <laughs> Remember, all you can think of now, you can take home with you. And the 45 seconds starts now. Barbecue, electric drill, cuddly toy, uh, a funny thing, yeah. uh, booze, glasses, elephants, box of chocolates, box of chocolates, the sauna. sauna uh, Candelabra. Candelabra. Uh, electric drill said that. Yeah. Vacuum. Vacuum. The uh, case. Case. Coffee. Casserole dishes. Pans. Condu. Condu. Fondu. Condu. Pressure cooker. Pressure cooker. Panda. Infratoy town. Chocolates. A load of other things. <laughs> Various items. <laughs> 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 Good night, God bless. See you next week.